In the heart of a bustling city in America, under the shade of towering skyscrapers, a young Paul Phoenix found his calling. As a child, his eyes were captivated by the local street fighters. The sheer power and fearlessness exhibited in these battles ignited a fire in Paul, a desire to become not just a fighter, but the strongest in the universe. Paul's childhood was not one of privilege. It was marked by hardship and the need to stand up for himself in the rough neighborhoods of his youth. His home life was a mystery to many, a topic he seldom spoke about, choosing instead to focus on his future, not his past. The streets became both his battleground and his training ground, each scuffle teaching him more about his own strength and resilience. His early fighting style was raw and unrefined, driven more by instinct and brute force than technique. However, his natural talent for combat was undeniable. He was a brawler, his punches heavy, and his will unbreakable. Paul's reputation on the streets grew, and with it, a sense of pride and confidence that would become his trademark. As Paul matured into his teenage years, his ambition only grew stronger. He knew that street fighting was only the beginning. His sights were set on a larger stage. This pursuit led him to cross paths with martial law, a martial artist whose skill and discipline contrasted sharply with Paul's raw power. Their friendship was forged through combat and mutual respect. Law became more than a friend to Paul. He was a mentor, a rival, and a brother in arms. Together with Law, and occasionally crossing paths with another from the East, Lee Chow Lan, Come on. Paul began to refine his fighting style. He combined his natural strength with formal techniques, turning him into a formidable fighter. Hey, Law, think you can keep up with me? Try me, Paul. You might learn a thing or two about real speed and technique. His circle of friends and rivals expanded, each new encounter shaping him teaching him the importance of skill, strategy, and adaptation. Paul's journey was not without its setbacks. His first major challenge came in the form of Kazuya Mishima, a fighter whose skill and ruthlessness were unlike anything Paul had encountered before. So you're Kazuya Mishima. I heard you're pretty tough. Let's settle this. I'm the toughest there is. Paul Phoenix versus Kazuya Mishima. Their battle was intense, a clash of titans ending in a draw that left Paul both frustrated and fascinated. Kazuya became the embodiment of the challenge Paul sought, a rival who pushed him to his limits and beyond. This encounter was a turning point for Paul. It was a humbling experience that taught him the limits of raw power. He realized that to truly become the best, he needed to evolve, to learn from his defeats as much as his victories. Kazuya became the standard against which Paul measured himself. When the announcement of the King of Iron Fist tournament echoed through the fighting world, Paul saw his opportunity. It was his chance to face Kazuya again, to prove himself against the best fighters from around the globe. The tournament was more than a competition. It was where legends were forged, and Paul was determined to emerge as its champion. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist tournament. As he prepared for the tournament, Paul's training intensified. Every punch, every kick, was a step towards his dream. His overconfidence grew alongside his skill, but beneath that bravado 
was a deep-seated need to prove himself, to validate the path he had chosen. Fighters from all corners of the globe were drawn to this grand event, each with their own reasons for competing. For Paul Phoenix, it was destiny calling. Paul entered the tournament with a single-minded focus to face his rival, Kazuya Mishima, and prove himself the toughest fighter in the universe. The tournament was a melting pot of styles and strengths, truly testing Paul's abilities and resolve. One of Paul's most memorable battles in the tournament was against an opponent unlike any other, Kuma, a giant bear with formidable strength and surprising agility. A bear? Seriously? The fight was not just a physical battle, but a mental one, as Paul had to adapt his fighting style to an opponent so unorthodox. Viewers at home were in awe as man and beast clashed. Well, I've never fought a bear before. I guess there's a first time for everything. Paul Phoenix versus Kuma. Final round. Fight. <laughs> Emerging victorious against Kuma, Paul's legend grew, and so did his confidence. Throughout the tournament, Paul's anticipation to face Kazuya grew. Each victory brought him closer to the showdown he had been dreaming of. However, fate had other plans. Paul Phoenix versus Martial Law. <laughs> Despite his skill and determination, Paul was unable to face Kazuya in the tournament after losing to his friend Martial Law. Although Paul was happy for his friend's victory, the denial of his long-awaited rematch was a bitter pill to swallow, leaving him with a sense of unfinished business. How did this happen? I was the one who was supposed to face Kazuya. I'm proud of you, Law. But I can't hide my disappointment. Kazuya was mine to defeat. Fighting's full of surprises, Paul. You're strong, but remember, it's not just about who you fight, but how you fight. The first King of Iron Fist tournament was a turning point in Paul's life. He looked forward to the future, to new tournaments, and to the eventual rematch with his rival, Kazuya Mishima. Paul returned to his life, but the fire within him remained unquenched. The streets where he once fought seemed smaller now, the local challenges insufficient to satisfy his hunger for greater battles. His draw against Kazuya and the missed opportunity in the tournament became the fuel for his continued training. Paul knew that the path ahead was long and fraught with challenges, but he was ready. His journey was far from over. It had only just begun. I'm not done yet, Kazuya. Next time. It's you and me. 